Hey guys, welcome back to an RC update and today we are looking at my Maverick Ion XT 118 scale truggy stadium truck, however you want to say it. Um, now, I actually forgot I had this car, believe it or not. Um, last time I actually ran this car was back when I did the Armour Typhon at the skate park and that video is over a year old. So this car, I've... <laughs> Um, a year and a half, I'd safely say, I haven't actually used this car. Um, and the reason is because it actually broke. I, we took it to the skate park, me and my friend, and the Typhoon ran straight into it and it broke um, uh, the front left. You'll see in a minute, I'll show you. The front left uh, suspension um, and therefore I actually at the time I was going to repair it but I completely forgot and it's, it dropped down the side of um, one of my tables and I've completely forgotten about it so I actually had a bit of a clear out and I found it and I thought hang on let's actually do an update video and see what we can do with it so um, this is how the truck looks at the moment I took the wheels and tyres off just because um, it was limping a bit so this is the actual truck as it looks now as you can kind of see there um, I did kind of do some painting up here because I need to test the spray can out, but um, uh, that's not actually how it comes. So um, the body shell, as you can see, is quite well beaten up. Uh, the front, especially, is a little. It's got some light scuffs and more paint here. But yeah, uh, it's got a bit of cracking going on at the back here as well. So just take this off, and as you can see there, I actually did put some Velcro on here uh, to help it actually hug the chassis. But uh, yeah, that's the body shell. And here is the actual chassis itself. And here is actually where it broke. So as you see, I completely lost the shock. And here, I've actually broke the front shock tower. Now, although it looks like, oh, you can just change the shock tower, you actually can't. The um, molding for this shock tower and the rear shock tower is actually all one piece. So it takes the top half of the front diff case this whole centre chassis section, the spur cover and the rear diff co top cover as well as well as the rear shock tower that is all one piece that lifts off so to actually replace this you have to replace this whole top deck which I will probably do in the future because I actually wouldn't mind getting this thing back up and running again um, here you can kind of see the car runs on full ball bearings as you can kind of see there which I actually forgot that it did there you go. Runs on full ball bearings. Um, I've still got the stock system in here, but I am going to switch out because I actually do remember I had a problem where I actually broke the on and off switch. As you can see there, the, uh, the this little cable here is not actually attached, so therefore I can't actually turn it on without sparking it. Um, and I think I actually had a bit of a glitching issue with the motor itself, so I think the motor actually might be worn out. The servo is fine, I do need new radio gear because the radio gear and the ESC are all one unit in this car, so I'm going to have to change my radio gear to put a new ESC in and vice versa. Um, the... what else can I say? Um, so, but other than that, there's nothing wrong with the car at all, and you see there's quite a lot of wear on it. Can see there but fundamentally there's nothing wrong with the car it's not the cars for it broke I mean the armor Typhon is a 1.8 scale full 1.8 scale buggy very heavy got lots of aluminium on that thing and when it hits something this small this light and made of plastic primarily is some it's gonna break so you can't really chop the car down to it being its fault um, the wheels and tires as you can see, did actually have a decent amount of runs on them uh, before the car actually broke and I forgot about it. Um, so, the camera is useless at focusing today, but as you can see, there are quite a lot of wear. And I don't know if you can kind of see into there, it's not actually a hex design, neither is it a pin design, it's actually a D cross section which actually go, it slides on to the actual um, stub axles. Um, so they've actually got a D-shaped section on them, which is how the wheel actually slides on and holds on. Um, which means you can't actually find aftermarket wheels for this. It was very difficult to at least. So I haven't actually tried. Um, so I'm, I might actually turn this into the monster truck version if I do the rebuild on it. Um, just purely because monster truck version actually looks pretty cool. Um, 
what's next? Uh, there's not much else. I mean, there's actually quite a lot of upgrades out for this thing. I know you can get um, steering knuckles, uh, suspension, um, uprights, I forget what the actual name is, caster blocks. Uh, yeah, actual cast, aluminium caster blocks, steering knuckles, aluminium dry shafts, diff cups. Uh, aluminium shocks. You, you, you can probably deck out one of these little cars because, um, I mean, this one's made by Maverick, but it's also sold under Himoto Racing. I know, um, and there's quite a few others that actually resell this car. And Maverick the sales actually have a brand new version and or a updated version of this lineup of cars with new bodies on. Um, the rally car actually looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I might actually might up. A, end up acquiring one of the new style body shells um, to go onto this but yeah the car is actually really good from my memory it drove really well um, but with a brushless mode I think this would be absolutely insane so can't wait to actually do that um, I'll probably get some upgraded little bits like shocks and drive shafts etc but we'll see what happens in the future um, but yeah I just thought I'd give you a quick update on this little thing because um, I completely forgot about it and um, and I know in actually in recent weeks and months, um, quite a few people actually been commenting on the unboxing video for this car, saying how long it lasted for and this sort of thing. From memory, the included battery, which I actually don't have anymore because <laughs> I've just lost everything for this little car. Um, the stock battery lasted for about 10 to 15 minutes, um, but because it's a nickel metal hydride, towards the end of its um, charge the car did become slower and slower because obviously it's a nickel metal um, if you stuck a lipo in here which I actually personally didn't uh, if you stuck a lipo in here it probably lasts about the same um, but it wouldn't actually have that slow progressive drop off um, the only thing I would say is by using a higher MAH battery such as I did um, you will risk out damage in your motor like I did um, the motor became very very hot and eventually it did burn out so um, just be careful running longer or bigger capacity battery packs through it because I don't think the motor can actually take um, much longer run time than the stock included battery pack provides. So yes, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Um, so look forward to some little upgrade videos in the future for this thing hopefully and uh, yeah that's it. Uh, so. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you didn't like the video so much, go ahead and hit thumbs down. All means the same to me, and I appreciate your feedback. Um, if uh, if you want more RC from me when I'm not on YouTube, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. The details will be in the outro page. And um, n another quick note as well. I am nearly at a thousand subscribers. We passed 900 mark recently, and I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for your continuing support and uh, yeah that's it guys so I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video